Hello folks, welcome back from more EA Sports PGA Tour, and it is a Masters Week. And we've got the first round, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually play four rounds. Uh, I'll record the first round, I'll play the second and third round without recording it, and then I'll do the final round as well for Sunday. So let's jump straight into this and get it started. There we go, four rounds. Nice. So pay, it doesn't give you the option to play two rounds. One round on a major is too short. Four rounds, I think, is too long. Nobody's going to watch four rounds. <laughs> right, I'll let the little intro play. What is it about this parcel of land, set deep amongst the Georgia pines, that draws us in so? Is it the beauty? Is it the colour? Is it the sound and the breezes? Is it the history? It's all of that. Everything together makes this place special. This is Augusta National. This is the Masters. Okay, let's get into this. Oh, some nice golf to watch this afternoon, though. It's just a pity it got delayed for two hours. It means Tiger. I didn't get to finish watching Tiger's when he finished, but imagine he's got 20 odd holes to play, 25, 26, or something like that. I stopped watching it when Rory and uh, Scotty Shuffler finished their rounds. That guy is unbelievable, Scotty Scheffler, even though he's one behind um, uh, DeChambeau. He, the consistency in that guy's game is just uh, unreal. Okay, here we go. I love this course. Right, 456 yards. Let's just see if we can hit a nice driver down the center. Oh, that's a bloody big underswing. I've got another different controller this time. <laughs> this one's a bit clicky. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it because my hands are in front past the mic, you know what I mean? Okay, well, we've got 170, 18 feet up, so it's playing 176. And let's put it past there. We've got that bit of wind there as well, though. So let's put it on the finesse and we'll put it right past. Put a bit of loft on it, see how we go. So that should see how that does. It's going a little bit to the right. Yeah, there were some cracking shots being played today, though. That one um, the Shambo played from the pine straws on, was it the 15th? We had to fade it, and he landed on the left edge of the green. What a hell of a shot. Rory was a bit hit and miss at the start of the round, but he kind of brought it back towards the end. Come on, go on, go on. Oh, you, oh, you son of a bitch. A little bit too much weight on that. So we'll take the par there. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And he'll stay at level par. Oh, John Ram, though, eh? He, oh, he was getting well agitated on that second half, uh, second half of his round. What was it, the, was it 11th? Reachable in two for many in the yeah, it was 11th, his second shot. He tried to draw into the 11th, and you see it starting to draw, and then it turned right, and he was like, what the hell, did you see that? It drew like two feet, two yards, and then turned back again. But um, if you watch Sky Sports, uh, Nick Faldo, he actually explains, it says the wind, 
you, you can feel it hitting like left to right. But then when it hits the trees, it swells and it actually comes back and makes it go right to left in certain places of the course. So it's pretty weird. Right, let's hit a boomer right down here. Oh, that's going to be nice. Go on. It's now what? It's half three in the morning here. I'm going to be truthful with you. This is my second time recording this. <laughs> I started recording it, got halfway through the bloody round, and my game crashed. I was like, bloody hell. Started it back up again, and it started me off from where it crashed. I got to the end of the round, blah, 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 went to stop recording, and then my OBS crashed. And when I went to check the recording, the video wouldn't play. So what I had to do, I just, I went, ah, oh, sod it. Now let me just take a shot first. Um, hybrid, five iron, 34 feet down, six mile an hour. And I'm going to play safe here. I'm going to go center of the green, I think. Let's put a lot of loft on this. That's still going to be too much with that wind and that. Let's bring that back. I'll tell you what, why don't I bring it in a little bit from, there we go, yeah. Let's try that. Yeah, so what I did, what I, well, what I had to do, because the recording screwed up as well, I went to play it and it just wouldn't play because OBS crashed, so it didn't actually finish recording it. So what I did, I just skipped all the way to the end, restarted my season, tried to remember which ones I'd won. So I've got like three or four, maybe yeah, four trophies, I think. I only did quick one rounders, just zipped right through it till I got to this. I skipped the couple that I skipped the other week and back onto this. So it's now what, half three in the morning. I started recording at like quarter to 12, my first round. So I've been playing this bloody game for like four hours. <laughs> it's just, oh, oh, I was gonna tell you what, it pissed me off. Right. Yeah, it wasn't too bad when the game crashed because it actually starts you back up. Uh, again, when I played um, one of the rounds earlier, I got uh, another playoff and it did the exact same like last time I said to you. Uh, it crashed when it... Oh, there we go. It crashed when it goes to the playoff, but if you just restart it, it your playoff will, will continue. But when it will be S crashed, the video wouldn't play at all, so I just had to go through it all again. Bloody annoying. But as I said, I really enjoyed watching this after uh, the golf this afternoon. Really good. Some really good shots being played. I don't know why they play up here. It's going to be easier to hit up to the green up here, I'd reckon. Yeah, I'm going to go from, going to go there. Let's put a little bit of fade on this just so I don't hit that tree there. Oh, that's got a little bit of turn on it. That should be okay. Right, that leaves a nice little pitch up shot. Or should I say a little pitch shot up? <laughs> right. A lot of loft. Let's pull it back just a touch. Balls above the feet. You can, I don't know if you can hear this. It's a bit clicky on this controller. It's an Xbox controller, but it's like pro the the one I, I did have was a Xbox controller for Windows. This is a proper Xbox controller. Right, come on. Oh, hit that short. Oh, we got it though. Birdie, birdie. Better than the round I did earlier because that was terrible. I ended up with, uh, I finished at minus two, minus three. <laughs> But as I said, I've been playing for three or four hours, so I've got plenty of practice at the moment. Right, what we got here? Oof, 32 feet down. Let's go down to this six hybrid. Let's have a look, see where we are. Got a bit of wind against us as well. Let's try that. It's looking not bad, might be a bit left. No, that's, that's going to be fine. Oh, that's nice. 
Oh, get in there. Okay, good shot. And a putt for birdie here at number four. Oh, that's not bad. Bad area to land as well. Turn, turn. Didn't turn. Damn it. That should have been a birdie. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And he'll stay at two under. Yeah, so I wonder how Tiger's going to play tomorrow and especially with his leg he's got quite a few holes to do because I mean I think he's, uh, one of the commentators said he's played six tournaments since he had his crash but he'd only finished three of them it's, it's going to be tough going for him I think the other one as well Danny Willett uh, he had an operation on his shoulder and he was supposed to be out for 18 months uh, a year to 18 months and he's come back after six months just to see how he'll do and I tell you what he played bloody well Well, that's not too bad. It's starting up the right side. Absolutely phenomenal um, tournament, though, isn't it? the Masters. The Masters in the Open. Uh, it's, uh, it's hard to say which one I prefer. I really, I really do like the Open, though. But then the Masters is just something else. Right, let's put that down at a six iron. Let's pull that back just a little touch there. Full loft. That wind should help. Ball's above the feet a little bit. Oh, that's nice. Go on. Okay, sit. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, no. Shit. Bunker. I mean, crap. <laughs> oh, that was so close. Right, let's go for a pick shot here. Uh, if loft, put it past... Run about there. There we go. Come on. Oh yes, nice. Mm, that is a good looking pass out of the bunker right So we'll get the nice little pass save out of that. Just a few feet for par. Okay, safely in for his par. And he'll remain right where he is. Okay, seven under to beat. Good par three here on this first nine. It's the when I played it earlier, the leader was eight under when they finished, so... So annoying that was. It really annoyed me. Right, what have we got? 193, 21 feet down. So that is playing 186. 190, 22 feet down, should I say. So it's playing, what, 184. Bring that back to there. Let's put a bit of loft on that. I want to play it a little bit short. There we go. And you get on that sort of that little plateau at the top there. Oh, that felt a little bit fast there. Go on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's not going to stay. Or is it? Oh no, I think that's going to come off. Yep, look at it, it goes. Picking up speed. Damn it. So close. Another couple of inches that would have held there, I think. Damn. Right. Pitch. Let's bring that back just a touch. I want to hit it over here. I don't want to... I don't want to play with these slopes here at all. So I'm going to just aim it over here. Try and be a little bit safe. Just aim it to about there. Full loft, that'll do it. That'll do it. That's nice. That oh, gives a nice little little pop up. Just nip that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Ah, <gasps> no. Good shot. No, didn't see that. Slides by to the left. That was terrible. That was a almost a gimme putt but mind you Augusta Greens they're kind of nasty on to hole number seven it is a par four at an even 450 yards in length Pampas to the pine trees running the length of the fairway and oftentimes lead to a bogey or worse yeah quite a few of the live guys weren't doing too well except for DeChambeau he played really well I must admit 
Yeah, Dustin Johnson, I've seen a couple of his holes. Yeah. Mickelson, he finished, what, plus one, I think it was. And Cameron Smith, he finished evens. I think, if I remember right. I'll try to remember now, because it's like five, six hours ago when I was watching it. That's not a bad drive, 334. Okay, he leaves us 117, 19 up. So that's run about 126. So that wind should help us here. Wind is helping from behind, so you can take a little less club. Okay, we've got the perfect on the downswing there. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at that for a shot. Get in there. Oh, that was a good strike. Took it straight at it too, that one bounce and check. What play. Yeah, I need to concentrate a little bit on these greens, I think. All right, back to two under. We move now to the eighth here at Augusta. Yeah, so the guy I picked, Wyndham Clark, he was doing well until he hit the... Oh, what hole was it? He put too much spin on the ball and went into war. So he dropped a few shots there as well. But as I said on my last video on the path for you, one, it says you, you can't say about Scotty Scheffler. He, he's just too good. So I think it's going to be him. Oh, sugar. I didn't want to do that on this hole. I wanted to be over to the right. That's not good. Just means we're going to have to do a little layup, I think. I mean, we're 100%, but we're not going to reach the green, I don't think. Oh, five wood. Oh, I don't know. If I go with the three wood. Oh, I think. I have a bash at it anyway. We'll just smash it up there. Put a little bit of draw on it. It'll be close, I think. Well, that's not too bad. Leaves a little pitch. We should pick up a birdie from there. Okay, full, full loft on that. Pull it back a little bit. That'll do, lovely. That's another birdie. Nice. Okay, three under. We wrap up the first nine with the tough 460 yard par four known for a trek. Carolina Cherry. That slopes sharply from back to front. Approach shots here that don't have enough carry, but also wind up. I really enjoy watching the Sky Sports coverage of it because you've got Nick Faldo who comes in and does some of the commentary and some of the stories he tells us is fantastic and he's got a, he's got a cracking sense of humor. All right, come on. Ooh, a little bit slow. It's pulling over to the left. It's going to hit the tree, but it's going to hit the fairway as well. That's okay. So we're going to be playing off this massive downslope here, unless it goes all the way down the bottom. Come on, Bo. We're still on a bit of a downslope. It should be okay, though. Right. What have we got? 27 up. Well, the good news is this ball has found the fairway, but the two bunkers guarding the left side of the Nice, right. what's that? In play, going to have to hit something high and soft. 122. That should go right with that wind, though. That wind's going to help a bit, I think. Let's try that. A full loft. Oh, that's not bad. Go on. Don't spin too much, though. Okay, stop there. Ah, oh, come on. It will not. Um, About a foot more. It would have been fine. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. That's terrible. Oh, man. It looked good. Damn it. Rolled off the green and back into the fairway. That stinks. Yeah, it's not good. That should be good. Ah! <gasps> Oh, I thought that was going to go in. <laughs> that's going to leave a tough little putt, though. It's not stone dead, but that's not too bad. Nasty little putt. And I still missed it. 
Shit! Just what I didn't hit that any harder. That would have been back down that bloody slope. That's a bogey. Damn it. This is like my, my first round. I think I have five birdies and a couple of bogeys now. I think I had three bogeys. Four birdies, three bogeys. I can't remember now. Oh, look at this for a hole, though. It's a cracker. Let's just tell you what, let's put a power drive on. Let's just smash this one. <laughs> do not go into the pine straws, though. Oh, do, 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 do. come on. Bounce, 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 bounce. <sighs> just into there. Pine straws. Might be alright. <laughs> See, Tiger had to do the one of them left hand shots. He was too far there, close to one of the trees as well. <laughs> right, I think I'm going to hit that branch there though. If I go there, there's a little gap there. Let's try that. See, we're 100% as well. So that's not too bad. Let's try that, see how that does. Did it get out? Oh, it's gonna be short. Just a little bit short. That's the problem with bloody um, Augusta as well. Got all these sloped front greens. If you just hit a little bit short, you're, you're what, what am I? 24 yards away. Oh, I need to get this close. Oh, it might be too heavy. Oh, that's no, not too bad. A little bit of a right to left part downhill. Oh, that's okay. Should get this, I hope. Go on. Oh, nice par save that. Yeah, on the Sky commentary, Nick Faldo said this is this is his favourite hole out of all of them. Was this one? He told a little story about the first time he played it with his um caddy. The second shot he drew it in, and he's quite a distance away. And he said to his caddy, "What do you think?" His caddy turned around and says to him, "I don't know, Gov. Oh, looks um." Bit dodgy me. <laughs> it's all a blur to me, Gov. Or something like that, he said. Then the following year, um, he, he had Fanny on the bag. Right, let's smash this. Come on. That's going to be nice. Oh, I might be a bit close to that tree there, though. That should be okay. Uh, ooh, that's going to be close. Right, 22 feet down. So let's do that. Am I going to hit that? No, I don't think I'll hit that branch. I don't want to bring that tree into play. And I don't want to bring the water into play either. That's going to be dodgy. That should be okay, I think. Oh, that branch though. So let's do that. Let's put a bit of fade on it. Come on. Go on. Get up. Oh, come on. Nope. Uh, point of entry. Yeah, go on. We'll take point of entry. That'll just leave a nice little pitch up. Oh, that's going to be another bogey. God damn it. Good thing is I've got it on four rounds, though. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird though because when I record it and I'm talking, commentating and that, it's a lot harder when I just play the game. So as I said, I'll record the first round and the fourth round and I'll play the other two when I'm not recording it and I, sh I should be able to get the shots back. Right, there we go. Let's try that. Oh, go on. Go on. Oh, that's not bad. So we're going to get a bogey from there as well. Or was it a double? No, just a bogey. 
Okay, 12. I always have problems with this bloody hole. Beautiful hole, though. Look at that. So easy on the eyes. So much harder is figuring the mysterious winds. The answers lie somewhere near the top of those towering pines that kiss the Georgia. Yeah, as you see, the wind on this one, it just keeps turning. Different um, strengths as well. Right, nine iron. Put a little bit of loft on it. We'll play it out there a little touch. Look at the wind, it's so hard to. Ooh, that's not bad. That's going to be good. Oh, come back, come back. Yes. Gives us a chance for birdie. Let's take a little screenshot there. <laughs> the way he saunters over the bridge. Right, come on. Oh, don't miss. Oh, I was going to swear there. Oh, such a good first shot as well. Damn it. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And he'll remain in. Right. Come on. Let's get into this. You get a couple of birdies. This is a tough one. This hole had some modifications made to it prior to I remember two shots on this course. One was um Duval. A good few years ago. I'm sure he was in that left hand side and he hit it out and drew it onto the green. And the other one was Mickelson, he was on the right hand side in the pine straws and he got on the green as well. Yeah, beautiful shots. He was either over the creek, Duval, and he took it round, or he was very close and he had to draw around the trees. I can't remember now. A long time ago. Right, let's put a lot of draw on this. Aim out there just a little bit. It's par five. I'm not going to do a power drive. I'll just hit this nice. Um, where am I? Yep, a little bit of draw. I'll do it. A little bit of a slow, but it should be okay. Gives a good damn um, chance to get into the green for two. As long as I'm over to the right, because. These trees overhang a little bit, don't they? Oh, that's fine. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> right, five iron, full loft. We'll pull it back a little bit. Them trees are definitely going to get in the way. So I'm going to have to put a shit ton of draw on this one. Come on. Oh, it's turning lovely, though. Get up, get up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I should have went with a four iron there, I think. Right, that'll do. Could still get the birdie here. Hopefully. Yeah, it's not bad. of the time, it's for birdie. Nice. Right, back to two under. We've got another par five coming up, so... As long as I, hopefully I finish maybe four under, that'll be a good score. No bunkers. Okay, let's put a bit of draw on this as well. One of the most difficult in golf. Nice little bit of turn on that. That should be absolutely fine. I'm just going to kick a little bit to the right here. And that a good shot up the hill and into the fairway. Not bad at all. But look at that green. Again. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. This little bow. Let's bring it back another club there. Pin on the right hand side, so really looking for a fade in here if we can. Don't really need any loft on it. Ball's way below our feet. And got that wind as well. Okay, that's gonna be nice, I think. Hit that little slope, bounce down, go on. Oh ho 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 ho. It's gonna be a tough part, I think. 
safely on the green in the buddy chunks. This Come on. 13 footer. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, damn it. Good stroke. Just a fraction off target. Little toe curl of that one. Well, if she's there, it is a par here at 14. Right, let me have a quick drink. We come now to the instantly recognizable hole number 15. It's called Firethorn. Traditionally, it has been the second easiest hole on the course, behind only number 13. But it was lengthened in 2022, with an extra 20 yards added on, making that potential carry... Over yeah, if he's played uh, 2K21, 2K23... If you remember the CLV's um, his Magnolia and the other one because they kept um, changing, they kept putting asterisks over the name so you couldn't search it just because of uh, the rights that uh, 2K didn't have the rights to this and he, he, I think his second version he called it Firethorn. That was a, that was a beautiful um, rendition of the course he did. I think he put on Twitter. He's actually there this year. I'm sure he put on Twitter. He got his um, he's got his ticket to go this year because it's uh, it's like a lucky draw, isn't it? Right. Three point nine percent above the feet. Oh, this is tough. Let's bring that back. Five wood. Uh, six hybrid. No, we'll go with the five wood. Try that. Oh, there's bloody cat starting to meow now. Because it's this late, it's a lot quarter to four in the morning. <laughs> the dog went to his bed. <laughs> He's not in my room tonight. Right, that should be good enough, I think, there. Oh, underswing. Get up. It's on the green. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Do, 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 stay. Oh. No, not really. That's a bit of a squeaky bum time. <laughs> I thought that was going to come back. Right, come on. It's par five. Let's get it close. Pick up the birdie. Oh, go on. Yes, nice. Little birdie here. Now oh, put us on three under. Two good shots on this par five leaves that simple little chip, and that was beautifully played. And that one finished off. At nice. Fifteen. We arrive now at the one hundred seventy yard par three sixteenth, played entirely over. Okay. It was it was a uh, one of the Asian players that went in the war, wasn't it? Um, nah, I think it was. Key, you can make a birdie. Okay, you got the wind against us here. So we'll go past the pin, put quite a bit of loft on it. That should do, I think. Oh, a bit heavy. That's going right. Hit the green, come on, stay. Oh, that's, that'll do, that'll do. Gives us a chance. Yeah, and the break here from right to left is the main consideration. It's fairly flat overall. Got to oh, that's there. turned too much. Damn. No, These are some tough the greens, aren't they? Butterface didn't get that far enough out to the right. Okay, that'll be a par here. I don't know if you can hear my cat bloody meowing outside my door. It's a pain in the butt. Yeah, his door's been shut. Four four seventeenth at four hundred forty yards, one of the most famous in the sport. This is where nineteen eighty Nandina, the age of forty six, made the birdie putt. Fern Lundquist on the call. Is that, that what you just said there? Is that the one where he was way off the green? And he was humming and hawing what to do about it, and Jack just said to him, just put it. And he went, I can't put that from here. And Jack went, I'll show you how to do it. 
and he walked over and just hit his ball and it went up onto the green a big turn on it and he actually uh, hold it as well that's that's got to be probably one of the best putts you'd ever see uh, that was that was freaking amazing just the way he's done it as well if you've ever seen it if you've not seen it he just ro- walks up to it it doesn't even like line it up around he just walks up smacks it with the putter and he, put, he, he puts it yeah, because his ball, the ball was, um, what was it? It was down there. Uh, was it here? Somewhere here or something? I'm sure it was like there or there. And he put it up on and he just putted it. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure it was here. It was a hell of a putt. I think that's the one he was talking about. Right, I'm sure that was in the Masters. Um, Let's go this way. Let's try that. I don't want any loft on it. What we got? Uh, 1% below the feet. I need to be careful here because I've not got many holes left. That wind should help us a little bit. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's good, actually. That's very good. Come on. Yes. That's a nice little putt. Okay, four under. We're coming back a little bit stronger here. We arrive now at one of the most famous finishing holes in golf. See if this OBS crashes again. Oh, you won't know about it because I won't be recording anymore. <laughs> I, I go through all that crap again. Right, it's just annoying that the, the, the game crashed and then OBS crashed. Right, right. Scheffler and um, Deshamba ended up on that bunker there, didn't they? Right, just a nice gentle one. I don't want to overpower this one. Oh, that's lovely. That'll do. A little bit short, but that'll be fine. This is a tough green, this one. Oh, I don't mind where the pin is though. That's not too bad. Right. 43 up. Um, I think let's try finesse and we can go past the pin a little bit. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, oh that looks like it's going right. A lot right. How the hell did it go that much bloody right? <laughs> oh, I was just about to swear there again. I was going to drop the F-bomb. God damn it. Right, pick. Let's put it up there. We'll put full loft on it. As long as we get, get there and get the par. Oh, it's went a bit far. Oh, it's come back a bit. That should be okay. Hopefully we get the par there. Oh, that's dodgy little part. I hate these little ones. Come on. Get in, get in, get in. Yes, nice. Nice pass save there, the 18th. Right, minus four, we're four shots behind. So as I said, you'll get this round. I'll play the second and third round probably tomorrow or Saturday. And then I'll record the, the final round for Sunday. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. A little bit of a struggle there. What did I get there? One, two, three bogeys I had there, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven birdies. If I just knocked a couple of them bogeys on the head, I would have been fine. So there you go, guys. That's the first round of the Masters for 2024 on EA Sports PGA Tour. Hope you enjoyed that. Tune in for the next round on Sunday. Thank you for watching. Catch us again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.